Hey guys, you're here for an easy lighthouse flawless with unlimited losses. Also check out my last video glitch on losing in competitive without ranking down. Find that in the pinned comment. The best part about this video is that it will not count a loss even though you lost a trials match. So you can still go to the lighthouse on any ticket. The worst part is it's sometimes inconsistent to get it to work. So more of a backup plan. This was noticed by Parboy Games. When you're in a match, around the point you're losing by two rounds, you close the game. Then quickly load the game back up. It will try to connect you to the previous match. Then you should be loading back in. If timed correctly, the match will end while loading and flying in. When this happens, you won't get the loss on your ticket. Essentially meaning you can lose as many matches as you want. This looks to activate the quitter protection for your teammates, so they won't be penalized for the loss. But that also means your team loses the next three rounds quickly, which is why you need to load back in quickly. So last gen consoles are not going to work with this. Next gen consoles and PC should be fine. You may need to quit the game a little sooner or later based on your platform's load time. A fast PC would be around the middle of round 2. A next gen console would need to leave around the start of round 2. If you do this too much, you might also get a 30 minute timeout. So you would have to wait a little before continuing your ticket. If the match ends before you load back in, it will say that it can't reconnect, which will count as a loss on your ticket and a 30 minute timeout. If you do the glitch and the match ends while flying in, you don't get a loss and you get a 30 minute timeout. So why does this work? The loss for your card happens when you get the match reputation and glimmer. If you load in after the glimmer is awarded, you get no rewards, but no loss on your card and a 30 minute timeout. If you load in too soon, you get the rewards, one loss on your card, and no timeout. If you load in too late, you got no rewards, you got a loss, and you got a timeout. So too soon is better than too late. Does this work with two people? If you have one person stay and help you time the return of the second player, in theory, you could carry anyone flawless. You would get the loss, and they wouldn't. This would allow you to stretch out rounds longer and leave it, say, round three. And if they leave, the person still in the game could hide in the back of the map. Potentially, even last gen with Destiny on an SSD could use the glitch if your teammate drags out the round super long, so that you have time to load in. Just let them know when you see Orbit and that they should lose the fifth round pretty quickly. Cheese forever, Guardian.